Welcome back, everybody. Of course, we've got some fun coming up. I know a lot of people are wondering, how can I keep to all my New Year's resolutions? Well, if you're finding that one of them is that you've got too much on your desk, we're going to help you. What about that Christmas card that Aunt Jane sent you or your latest cell phone bill? Well, if so, here is a holiday that is just for you. It's called National Clean Your Desk Day, and it's easy to let everything pile up, and then before you know it, you have a mound of a mess. I can say it's happened to me. So out with the old, in with the organized. An organizing expert and best-selling author, Julie Morgenstern, joins us from New York on our National Clean Your Desk Day. Welcome, Julie. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's nice ready to have to get you. organized. I am so ready. I know <laughs> our viewers are. It's that time already. How did it get here so fast? Oh, it just gets here. You know, the end of the year is a big flurry of stuff, and you get involved in the holidays, and then you really stop tending to your desk, and the stuff just piles up. Absolutely. So there's no better time than January, yeah. Well, I don't think a lot yeah. of people even were aware that there was such a day as this, and of course, you advocate organizing your desk into thirds. So let's talk about that, because we've got filed, tossed, and to do and call. So let's go into that a little bit. Yeah, so it really, on, on top of everybody's desk, if you start sorting out what's on there, a third are things that you want to file, but you maybe don't know where to file or mm -hmm. you don't trust your filing system. A third are things that you want to toss. It's really time to get rid of. Okay. And a third are to-dos that you're, you know, trying to remember to do. Mm -hmm. And so you want to tackle each separately, right? Absolutely. So to file, you don't want to keep, you don't want to keep papers on your desk. You want to file them. So you have to make sure you have a really good filing system that you trust. So ask yourself, do I have the right categories? Do I have a folder for everything that, um, that I need? Okay. You know, should I group my files into broader categories like family and finance and work? So create a really, you need a great filing system, whether that's paper or on your computer. You need an easy way to retrieve the information that you have deemed important to save. Well, I'm That's curious, number one. how do we know, Julie, what we should or should not keep? What is your choice? How do you make those decisions? I, I think that what you want to do is you want to ask yourself, what's the information I'm always looking for, mm -hmm. always wish I had, I'm always scrambling for, or I'm always referencing? That's the stuff you want to keep. Good point. And then you want to keep anything that your lawyer or your accountant says to keep. Uh -huh. And yes. everything else, everything else should go. Okay. You know, you were talking about the holiday cards. You don't need to keep holiday cards. After you had this wonderful experience <laughs> in December, everybody sent you cards. I always, I tell people to think of it like an event. It's okay. like going to a movie or going to a show. You had this wonderful experience and now shred it. And get a shredder. I am so guilty, Julie. Get a shredder. I, I am getting a shredder because I have all, right now, just like you said, I have all my holiday cards on my coffee table. They're everywhere. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I should keep this. You never know. So you're right. No. Get it out. It was a wonderful experience and shred it. Look at this. <laughs> Look at how energizing it is to shred. Feel this. Oh, yes. Fabulous. It's kind of like when right? you get to check Very. off a list item and you get that moment where you check off on your list. That's the same kind of feeling. That's exactly, it's exactly right. It's complete, it's done, it's gone. Absolutely. So Staples well, has this high-speed shredder, Mini Mate. This is a little cute, portable desktop shredder okay. that you can put on your desktop or carry around. A lot of people have papers all over their house because they're mm. mobile. Mm -hmm. And so you can just tote this from room to room Fabulous. and shred as you go. How great really that is. Cool. What are some of the other yeah, ways you really would recommend good. staying on track? Because once you get organized, and I'll do this, I'll organize everything, I'll take your advice, and then in about a week I'll be back to zero again. So how do you stay on top of it? There's really two things. Okay. One, make a little list, what I call an auto-toss list. Automatically toss. Okay. Write it down, type it up, put it on your desk, and just, it's everything that you toss automatically once you're finished with it. Grocery receipts, toss it. You know, catalog you're not ordering from, toss it. And just follow that list so you don't have to think of it every single time. What do I keep and toss? 
think it once, write it down, and then refer to it. And the other is a planner. Oh. Nikki, I'm telling you, a planner is the secret to an organized desk because so much of what we keep on our desk are supposed to be reminders of what we need to do. And then we ignore the pile and forget it sure. anyway. Well, what do we do about our tax records? So Would you say we should keep those very organized as well? Yeah, you keep your tax records. You know, they're, right now it's three years is what you are supposed to keep your tax records for three years three. back. Three, okay. But check with your accountant because there are some exceptions. So check with your accountant. Your account may stay a little bit longer. You just have a, f a folder for each year and keep your tax return in there, your completed tax return, okay. and any of the backup paperwork. And it just goes into a folder and it goes in the back of the drawer or in a little box in your closet. Perfect. You know, and, and then, you know, you rotate it out. Yes. So when this, at the end of 2011, you'll put in that in the front and maybe you'll get rid of 2009 or 2008. Great advice, Julie. I feel like you were at my house last night and you're talking directly to me, so thank you. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. Julie Morgenstern, thank you for advice on clearing clutter. We've got a lot more organization to do in all of our homes, so thanks a lot. We appreciate that. And yes. when we come back, we are back in the kitchen where the bread is cooking. It smells so good. Victor Reddy is back with advice on how to choose caterer.